Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be latency testing the Runcam Nano 2. Now this is a super, super tiny camera from Runcam. I haven't tested its image quality just yet due to some legal issues with me flying in the area that I usually fly in. So once that gets sorted out, I'll be back out flying in. However, we're going to do a quick latency test today. So it does have an OSD option and uh, it takes five volts only. So keep that in mind. They do provide you with a little adapter or bracket. So if you wanted to change its size into a basically a micro then you can install it on a bigger quadcopter and they provide you with the screws needed however they don't give you the osd remote so you might have to purchase that separately or hopefully you have a previous camera that came with the osd remote in order to change some of this now it is a cmos camera and um its latency was 1.9 milliseconds with the led turning on consistently so this is one of the fastest run cam cameras I have tested till this day, which is remarkable and really great, especially for those super tiny quadcopters where latency does really matter before you crash into something. So that I really like. Now, usually when we test the LED turning off, the latency does increase on many cameras. However, with this one, there was also an increase in latency to 4.4 milliseconds or 4.5 milliseconds, but a very consistent uh, number. So you can consider its latency between 1.9 milliseconds to 4.4 milliseconds, which is absolutely remarkable for such a small package. Another thing I noticed is it does not get hot. And, you know, lately I've been noticing cameras such as this one, they get super, super toasty for some reason. However, this one in this case does not. And again, it only takes five volts. And these are the connectors here. It does take the normal connector, so you don't have to uh, come up with anything special here or you can just cut this off and solder it on but they don't give you the male part so keep that in mind also so you might have to end up cutting this up and soldering it to your flight controller and overall it's um, a really nice small package super super tiny I don't have a scale to measure this accurately but um, yeah overall it tested very well and at least in terms of latency I still haven't even seen the video quality on this but eventually I'll have this probably installed on my Eugene trash can since that's my favorite little micro and um, we'll take it from there. And well, I'll have everything linked down below guys. If you could check those out, it does greatly support the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.